2024 has been a crazy year for a lot of us and myself included, and I am actively like in the process of losing my voice. So today I am pulling the most popular episode that we've ever had on the show out of the archives because it's not about the money and this is still really important. So here we go. But Amy, it's not about the money. Have you ever said that? Like, you're not worried. I'm not a money motivated person. I'm not somebody that's concerned about that. You don't understand. That's not me. I'm not worried about the money. Which, if you're listening to this podcast, you probably have a little bit of awareness of like how we need to actually work on this. But today, we're going to talk about if it's not about the money. So here we go. All right, welcome back. We are talking about money. Surprisingly, right? You know, your money, your life. But what if it's not about the money? Okay. Some of us feel like we're not money motivated. We're much more feminine, I've heard it. And we're not into like the tactical numbers and that's too masculine and all the things. Okay. Like, um, we can get to that in a second. But we're going to start at a much higher level, I guess, today, there are two main ways that you can make impact. And it boils down to these two. Okay. Time, money. Guess which one we don't get any more of. Time, right? The way to leverage your legacy, your impact is done through your money. If it wasn't about the money, those who are doing amazing callings. These can be like missionaries that are focused on like outreach and helping others, these things. What do they have to do? They have to fundraise, right? So kind of have had the money to use the time. You need to be able to take care of yourself, have the roof over your head. And you can be like, well, I could be homeless or um, I'm trusting God to provide in so many different ways. Like you can say these things, But at the root, there is still money needed to take care of things. Yes, there can be other ways that this shows up. And it might not necessarily be your money all the time, but it's somebody's money. So, which part, we call it your money, your life again, right? We're creating the life that we love. The life that you, your life, your dream life. This is what you're working towards. And if you want to be able to give back, That is fantastic. I think that we all should be giving back in some form or fashion. I think we are all called to be bigger blessings. Does the blessing always necessarily look like handing a physical dollar over? Not at all. There can be other ways to work with people. And that can be with your time. There can be other um, exchanges, which we think of money a lot of times as like the currency money. But that's not really money. Money is much more vibrational. Like it's an exchange of goods. And we've just kind of called it money and think of like dollars and cents. And that's not actually what it is. Like if I'm giving you food, that is a form of money. That's a, that, that energetic exchange is still there. So if we're saying it's not about the money, then what do we say? Like, we don't want to leverage the impact. We don't want to prioritize it. And often we don't want to feel like, oh, you know, we love money. And because we've all heard, you know, the love of money, of all money the love of all money is evil. The love of money is evil. I'm going blank on the exact like actual quote here. But prioritizing and working to be a bigger blessing, that's not idolizing money. Like you can do more work and you can do more good without being obsessed over it. I, actually, it's also been proven that the more money you have, the less you have to think about it. So you have time to do the other things that are actually more important to you when you're not sitting there like obsessing over every little thing because there's not enough there. And then we guard it and we don't want to share it. And like that, it leads to a whole other thing. This is why we talk about Wealth Wednesday and we talk about giving back more. This is why we have those conversations is because it's important to give and to bless others and be willing to release it and be willing to let go and not caught up in those things. But money is so much more than just dollars and cents. That energetic vibration is there. There's stories interwoven in there and the feelings that we 
have with it. And until we can handle that objectively, like we're just going to be on a roller coaster to like in a loop because we're not going to learn and to move forward, to learn to the next, get to the next level, to create that bigger blessing, that bigger benefit. If we haven't figured out the money. So this was a little bit more of, I don't know, a little bit of a different episode this week. All right. You gotta let me know if you like this one or not, <laughs> because this was more about like less tactile, more like vision. It's not that it's about the money. Like it doesn't all have to be about the money, but really it is all about the money. But when you make it not, when you focus on the money, it becomes that it's not about the money and it's not a worry, not a focus, and you're able to go make more of an impact. But if you start at a base level, not managing your money, not knowing more about your money, not handling these things, but putting it off, I don't have the money to do this, or I'm just trying to hit this income goal and then I'll be at the place where it's there. Like I'm not ready for it yet. I'm not to the point where it matters yet. Then we're just backtracking. We're, we're setting ourselves up back because when you manage your money I'll say it correctly. Then you move forward. Then you create the bigger impact. Then you're not worried about the money. Then you're not stressed about it because you know what? The system's handling it for you. It's got your back. It doesn't matter. And you're able to show up and make the impact, whether that's for your business, whether that's giving of your time and driving and donating your time to take care of the homeless or whatever need is close and dear to your heart. When you do those things and show up in that manner, and then you're set up for success. And that's like, that's the sweet spot. When you understand, like, it's not about the money, but it is about the money at the same time. All right. We talked about two main ways to create impact, lasting impact, time and money. And your time is the one that's not renewable. We don't have endless amounts of time. We have to leverage our time. And the best way to do that is to leverage your money so that your money can go and create that legendary impact for you that you are you feel called to make. You have that passion in your heart to move forward because of that. And then we talked about like, you know, missionaries still have to fundraise because the money still matters. Even if you go give your time, you still need the money. You know how powerful, this is like, side note, I don't even think I mentioned this. You know how powerful it would be to be able to go into the missions field and not have to fundraise because you have systematized income coming in, then then it's really not about the money and you're able to go spend your time doing what you do. There's even like more time available then because you took care of the money. You're able to be a bigger blessing. All right. Your challenge for today. I want to hear a little bit of a different episode. Let me know if you like the feel of it. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it at that. All right. Send me a message on Instagram at Amy Circa or shoot me a text 817-969-4653. We'll see you next time. Bye for today.